all the 12 hours of work is gone. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday afternoon, around 3.30. Uh, yesterday was Monday, because today's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday, and uh, I started working for Carl about an hour and a half before he got here, because he emails me uh, artwork and titles for the, for the show. And so I try to prepare all that, so when he's sitting here editing with me he doesn't have to watch me like build graphics and things i try to get all that stuff done before he gets here so he got here around 9 30 so i started working around eight and i i think between him and i we finished the actual editing around 4 4 30 because it was definitely dark and uh, or getting dark and a ninja says hi here he is oh so baby and uh and then I worked for another umpteen hours. I stopped working at eight at night. So it was a good 12 hour day. Uh, it's, it's, there's, there's something to be said about working for yourself, but when you work for yourself, you can procrastinate and do other things that, you know, technically you should be doing this other, like doing work related things, like uh, obviously food reviews and editing and stuff. But because I work for myself, I can do those kind of like, I can move them around and, and say, you know what, I'll edit that later and, and I can do this or play with the cat. <laughs> right, Ninja? He agrees. Um, but when you work for somebody else, you're totally on their schedule. And uh, so it's kind of fun. It's, like, it's a good change of pace. And I was very excited and scared at the same time leading up to this. This is the biggest screw up. So it wasn't a screw up, it was just a, I don't know what you call it. But leading up to yesterday, I told Carol, su Sunday night, uh, I was stressing out. Um, yeah, I was stressing out because I was afraid something bad was going to happen with Carl's footage. Because and I've been working with him for five years now. And uh, almost every year there's something that goes wrong. And <clears throat> so I, I would guess I was anxious and, and nervous and, and terrified that something was going to go wrong. Monday comes around, edit the whole day. We did it on a Final Cut Pro X and it works so much better, so much faster, so much smoother. And we were having so much fun putting it together. Like I, like I said, I worked 12 hours and I didn't feel like I worked 12 hours uh, because I was so excited and happy to start getting his stuff done again because once his stuff is is started and finished and completed and we part ways again for another six months then it's just all me again and I can guess and I'm like I'm I'm thinking about you know you know possibly booking a trip to Scotland or uh, go to back to Japan I've already talked to Paul from Japan uh, critically East Japan and, and uh, he's like when are you coming back spring and I'm like I don't know yet I just want to go back so bad and uh, so I'm way off topic. Okay, so we got all Monday stuff done. Uh, I went through the book. The last thing I did last night was I went through his book and he has, he has a lot of footage. And then he goes through and picks all the things that he wants. And to save space on your computer, you only want to bring over the clips that you're looking for. You don't just drag everything over. So I brought everything over into the... Um, program so that it would process while I was watching TV from eight o'clock on. And then I shut the computer off and it's, it's woke up this morning, turned my computer on, open up the program. Everything is gone. All the 12 hours of work is gone. I was wearing this hoodie earlier. <laughs> when I woke up, I, I put the hoodie on and Went out and, and swept Carol's car and uh, swept all the cars off for everybody. And because we had the snow, obviously, last night. And uh, that got me outside, got some fresh air into my lungs. I came back inside, started opening, trying to open it up, and it's, everything is gone. And I'm like into super panic mode. <coughs> Excuse me. Crazy, crazy panic mode. 
what am I going to tell Carl? How could we possibly have done 12 hours of work? Uh, Final Cut Pro X saves like every five seconds you're working and it saves into a file. And then when I w went into the file, it's empty. And I can't, I just can't understand how you can work 12 hours on a project in Final Cut Pro X that's supposed to save all the time, recorded nothing that we did and saved nothing that we did. And for about 40 minutes, uh, I had to take the sweater off because I broke out into a huge sweat thinking I was going to have to redo all Monday's work all over again. And Carl's going to be pissed and he's going to be upset. And I don't want, you don't want to make your clients upset people. And... I uh, took this off, thought I was going to throw up, and it's extremely stressful. And I said, okay, this is impossible. There's no, no way that it didn't save. So I started going through this, the backup save files, and the project was called like Bass X uh, 2019. That's the, that should have been the title of it. And so when that program saves, it should be backing up saving as uh, Bass X 2019, it doesn't exist in the in the file. <sighs> Why isn't it there? And so, basically, what I ended up doing is is starting to go through like the last project I worked on, and the last thing I did before I started working for Carl was um, a vlog. So the night before, the last thing I did was the vlog. So I said, okay, maybe because. That was the case. So I went through all the backup files of the vlog and the last backup file for the vlog was all Carl's stuff. <sighs> if I was Catholic, that would work, but I'm not. So, <laughs> oh my God, I was so, so happy. And, and, and I just figured it out by the time Carol left, which was at, at eight o'clock. So like I said, I got up at seven by quarter after I realized chaos is ensuing in my life and uh anyway i was very very excited very happy that the files were there in the back of my mind i knew they were there but there was a part of me that's saying something bad has happened uh the computer did crash at one point when you when i do too many things i have too many programs open trying to get everything done sometimes you just move that one thing over to copy and that just computer was like what what the hell was that so all's good got all show one done Today is Tuesday, I'll show two done. And uh, he's not back here until Tuesday. And then we're gonna be working on uh, episode three and four, when, Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, we're gonna be finalizing every single one of them by putting the, the beginning credits and the end credits on and then shipping them out to the uh, closed caption company and also shipping out the files to the network. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And on top of that, and I told Carol, I said, you know, Made in Mexico has two, two uh, what's it called? Uh, All You Can Eat Taco Tuesdays uh, in Bradford. And so I said to her, I said, you know, after working for Carl on Monday and Tuesday, I'm going to be stressed out of my mind uh, or I'll be happy that it's over, which I am extremely happy that it's over. I love working with Carl. But after the chaos that I, I experienced this morning, I'm so glad it's over. And so now I need to vlog for you guys to get the story out to you. Because I keep getting people saying, Karen, Ken, where's, when's, where's the vlog? I don't see the vlog. Anyway. So that was my big, my big announcement. This, my big terrorizing story. Uh, another, uh, here's another good thing. Um, uh, I've lost four pounds. So not because of what happened this morning, but because I've been eating smaller portions, controlling my portion size. And uh, every morning I eat porridge, so I do like uh, I should, I'll, I'll, I'll try and do a, a little um, what I do in a day kind of thing. But I basically have a, a bowl of porridge with a little bit of cream on it, a little bit of sugar, brown sugar, of course, uh, and a glass of orange juice. And those two combinations of things are supposed to help with skin, are supposed to help with weight loss, it's supposed to keep more. Um, fiber in your body and it's supposed to be the best thing you could possibly eat every morning uh so i've been eating porridge every morning lunchtime instead of eating a large amount of food i've been eating a 
quarter of, of the food, maybe half the food that I normally eat. Uh, I have my two coffees every morning. And then I don't eat anything until I get home, until Carol gets home and, and we make dinner. Uh, I guess last night we just had burgers. You know, back in the day I'd eat two burgers. Last night I only ate one. And uh, then I drank water for the rest of the time. So I've been losing weight over the last week and a half. Even though I ate that huge burger on Wednesday, you can you can eat something monstrous and stupid once in a while and get away with it because as long as you don't keep eating like that, then you're you're all fine. Your body will your body will peak and then level out again, and that's what happened. Uh, speaking of food, I think Louis, are you hungry now, bud? Yeah, you're hungry. Don't eat my face. All right, so uh, Carol and I are having dinner tonight. There's Sunny, she's having a bath. Ooh, sorry Sunny, you should have closed the curtains. Close the curtains, honey. Ninja's over there. Super, bo super boring vlog, but I think that was a good, good story to tell you guys. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now <clears throat> and uh, finalize a couple other things I need to get done. And, uh, and then head down to Bradford and have dinner with Carol. And I'll bring the camera, if Carol's up to it, we'll videotape some of our dinner and uh, show you guys what we ate. Of course, tacos. <laughs>